today I'm going to try and avoid the buttons and find some coins. Now all those buttons I found in the last video actually came from the Second World War. There was the National Fire Service based up here at this big mansion house and in the surrounding land. So that's where they all coming from. So I'm back just off the road where I was the other day. I kind of did a strip about maybe, I don't know, 20 meters wide by 30 meters with the Deus. It's quite contaminated there, but as I was working into the field, it was getting less and less contaminated. So today I'm back with the E-Track, with the big coil, and I'm hoping to get down a bit deeper into some older history. Um, the main wealth here was in Georgian times. Georgian coins are huge, they should give a bang and signal. I just can't seem to find them, so maybe it's this time. Although it's not raining this time, it's absolutely freezing and windy. So hopefully this video won't be affected too much by wind noise. And I've just realised, looking in the back of this van, I've left my harness at home. So I may only do about an hour with the E-Track, because with that big coil on, it's so heavy, I'll be absolutely knackered after an hour. So I may well swap back to the Deus. Now that's interesting. I thought that was actually copper wire, which we all know was invented by two Scotsmen fighting over a penny. Um, but it looks like it may be silver. It certainly came up reading as silver, but uh, I'm not sure. I just wonder whether there was a spoon on the end of there, perhaps. It's an interesting find, anyway. Well, it's now started snowing, and I think I may have my first coin. Yep, that was pretty deep. It was about 9, 10 inches deep. And that's only from 1962. Queen Elizabeth II, penny. Looks like another button. Yep, it is indeed. And it's National Fire Service. Well, there's a canny imprint. That's off a three pence coin. It's a 12 sided coin. And that one is Elizabeth II. From 1957. Well, that was a hell of a dig. It was under rocks and everything, that one. But that's another badge, and it's a National Fire Service one. So it's still in pretty good condition. Look at that. Got a bit of shine to it. Here's the one I may or may not have just clipped with a speed. Ah, oh yeah, man. Looks like an old penny. Oh, it's actually two pennies stuck together. There you go. Yep, definitely just two. Uh, they're well and truly fused together there. 1930. <laughs> oh, what's a, oh, and a one from the 50s or 60s. Ah, <laughs> look at that one. That's a cracker, that one. Almost looks like it's been silver plated. AFS, Auxiliary Fire Service. Haven't had a silver one, they've all been kind of brassy coloured. That's a belter. Coin ball from about 10 inches or so. Yeah, very good. That's a lovely colour. George V half penny from 1923. Ah, I've been out about two and a half hours and I found a reasonable amount of stuff, but the weather has really closed in. It's uh, blowing sleety snow, it's absolutely horrible. Typical English weather. But these aren't typical English teeth. Look at that, marvellous. That's why people ask if I'm a German or an Australian, because of the state of my beautiful teeth. So, what I've done 
I've actually dug five coin balls. Oh shit. I've actually got four fully intact coin balls. And one which is broken. Right, the one that's broken was a George the Fifth half penny. And the idea behind digging these up and bringing them back to somewhere where it's a little bit calmer was to, just to crack them open in front of the camera. So I'll start with a little one. Pretty much think this is a modern penny. And I'm wrong. It's a threepenny bit. Next one. I would love to think that one of these would be gold, but um, I don't think you would get this sort of ball and effect around gold. Although I may be wrong, because I have found silver in these before. And that one's not silver. It's quite a nicely conditioned penny from 1906. It's not bad, Nick. Next one. My van seat's getting covered in muck here. I really should have done this when I got back home, but a modern penny. Tell a lie, modern penny. <laughs> a modern two pence. And the last one. Yeah. Another modern two pence. Okay, this is a quick rundown of what I found in roughly two and a half hours. National Fire Service badges. A couple of pre-decimal half pennies. Four pre-decimal pennies, two threepenny bits, two two pences, a one pence, and a twenty pence. So there was quite a few coins there, a few buttons, and I also found this. This was actually the very first thing that I dug within about ten seconds of being there. I think it might be silver. I'm hoping it's silver. It certainly gave a silver signal, and it, it feels like silver. But I'm going to wrap a little bit of foil around it with my spit on and see if I can smell hydrogen sulfide coming off. If I can, then it's silver. Oh, we aye. We aye, man. Silver? Marvellous. Get all that hockle off it. Yeah. That's a pretty substantial little bit of silver, that. No idea of the period, but. I would imagine that it would possibly be an ornate handle off a little spoon or something, perhaps. I'm not sure. It's a shame it isn't complete. You can see where it's snapped off there. But I'm sure at one time that would have been quite a nice little artifact. It was a nice, short, wet, cold little hunt. And it was made worthwhile just by finding a little bit of silver. Mind you, I could have uh, dug the first hole, pulled this out and then left. And I still wouldn't have been. I still wouldn't have missed out on much, but it's just good to dig a few coins up. Some of them were very deep as well, and um, they all gave really lovely booming signals. I was also finding a lot of ring pulls down about 10 inches as well, so I was not too pleased about that. But one of these days I'm going to dig one of those signals and it's going to be a lovely ring. I don't quite know when that's going to happen, but I'm going to continue digging those ring pull signals. Basically, any signal that I think may be a good target is going to get dug means I'm going to end up with pocketfuls of trash, but there's going to be some good stuff along the way. Thanks for watching.